My head's a right weird shape. Got a weird tilt to it too. Hey, how's it going? Uh, welcome again. Today seems like it's gonna be a great day. It is middle of the afternoon though, so don't let me fool you. This isn't like first thing in the morning when I've got up and recorded this. I've been proper unproductive today. I should have been doing loads of stuff, but you know, you kind of get sidetracked, don't you? Finally got my, um, my final school book through to start my course with on Monday. So excited about that. That should be good. Loads of reading um, to actually crack on with and not it's my favourite topic to do, is old reading. One good thing is that my um, my girlfriend's coming down today, which is good, because we didn't actually get to spend Valentine's Day together. So she's coming down and she actually got us tickets to um, the opening of a new cinema. I think it's called Showcase Cinema Deluxe in Southampton. They had a competition running and she won some tickets to that. So we're going to go to that in a bit um, after I take my mum to the airport. So we're going to be out and about in just a sec. Speaking of cinema though, I was a proud member of Cineworld and their unlimited scheme and have been for well not exactly a year um, because today I can throw that one away I've got the new black card I got a black card that bad boy's just come in um, and according to the pamphlet that got sent through with it I now get 25% off food and drink on every visit are you one of these people, because I am, that, that you sneak stuff in? So every time I go to the cinema, um, I always stop at like pound, the pound shop or something beforehand, get a couple of bottles of water, and the pick and mix um, pots, they're a quid. Now exactly the same size in the cinema is about, it'll run you, it'll run you about five, six pounds for the same kind of little size. Top tip for you there to save a bit of wedge. So not only do you get discount off of food and drink, you now get unlimited 3D. Which is great, because I always hate the fact that you've got like a markup on 3D if you're a previous unlimited member, it's like an extra two or three pounds a time. This is kind of a godsend, because hopefully I'll get to use this bad boy a little bit more now where I won't have an income for the next five months doing this course. It'll actually allow me to have a night out for relatively nothing, it's like, like 17, 18 quid a month. So yeah. Loving a bit of that. So I'm gonna go off out now to um, take my mum to the airport. She's off to Dublin. No, she's not off to Dublin, she's off to Belfast. So I'm just gonna head off out now. I'm gonna take my mum to, what the f am I doing? Today, Junior! Right, so I'm actually just off out now to take my mum to the airport. She's jetting off to Belfast um, to spend some time with the family. Um, I've got a cousin who lives over there, so she's going with her sisters uh, to spend a few days over there. Um, we'll be picking my girlfriend up along the way, and then we're off out for the evening, and we'll catch you later on. Peace! So what are you doing now? What do you mean? Why is it on? So it's recording, like, just vlogging, isn't it? So it should be like a little piece of, like, just in the car. Oh, it's doing that just now? Well, yeah, that's why it's recording. <laughs> Are you sure we've got enough petrol? Yeah. you got, like, just under a quarter. Yeah, but it's for you to get, apart from getting me at the airport, for you to get to Southampton and then all the way home. Yeah, I'll put more in. I would have put it in. It's fine. No biggie. I thought you were going to the front to pick it up. No, the normal side. Well, the London gets... side. She gets dropped off at that side. Oh, I don't mind. <laughs> when we pick her up, have we not got to go through having to get to the motorway anyway? Hey? Oh. Can you stop looking at your phone and your driving, please? She was just messaging me. She was like, shocked yeah. late. And I'm like, mm, nothing. Yeah, stop reading it. I'm, I'm not reading it. Have you told her what side? She knows what side. She always comes to this side, always. Yeah, when I'm picking up, it's always the other side. Well, she knows that I'm picking her up. Why well, you got to f***ing argue about everything? So they're not going on this way, taking off until half seven. <laughs> yeah, I'm nearly here. Okay. All right, stop moaning. Hi. Everybody moans bar him, Chloe. But she knows that I'm on my way, but she'll constantly text me and call well, me. Well, I hate that because you're driving, so why is she doing it when you've got to look at your phone? Oh, this is brilliant. I'll just go use this as an excuse. The big lorry. 
Just say there was a massive lorry reversing. There's not much I could do. Oh, what? Oh, my God. Oh, I didn't know <laughs> how far round he was going to swing. Well, he's not going to hit me, is he? He's not going to purposely go over to the other side of the road. Just smash into me. You all right? Good, how are you? Uh, not too bad. Uh, okay. Like a glove? Like a glove! Done. I'm not gonna get out of here. Why have there's, you given yourself all the space? There's loads of room. Are you sitting? For a toddler? Oh, no, there's not. I can't do it. Right, so just dropped mum off at the airport. Had a lovely Costa, didn't we? I feel very full. Do you? Mm -hmm. And had a coffee. Yeah, my coffee's filling. I had a wrap. Milk. It was delightful. Uh, so anyway, now we've got to head to Southampton to, what's it called again? Showcase Deluxe. The Showcase Deluxe, their opening evening. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Imagine that at like the end of like a really like sad scene. Sad scene. Like, what's like the saddest film that you've seen in a while? The notebook. Imagine right at the end of the notebook and just like. Are we good with it? No. Film's finished. How do you think it went? That's my bit. I'm so introduce it. Stop taking over my vlog. <laughs> right, so we're back from the cinema. Uh, it was a good evening, wasn't it? Yeah, it was nice. So we got to go kind of VIP. Chloe won some some tickets from Capital, and we got to go and see the space in between or a space in between, a, a space in between. Like Let's talk about the positives of the evening. The cinema's lovely. Cinema is really nice. Has these amazing uh, reclinable seats, which was hilarious, wasn't it? Like everyone was was laughing so much because it made like a fart noise as you. I mean, it's very immature. It was yeah, but it was funny. 
there was a button in your armrest and when you held it what well, one of them put your legs up and the other one put your back down so you were kind of like fully Fair reclined fine. yeah it was like a leather lazy boy it was fantastic so sitting in front of this huge screen it was like the, the experience um, of one of these cinemas is incredible so if you haven't been to a showcase cinema deluxe I'd, I'd recommend it so the film itself I was happy that there was a reclining leather seat in the cinema because I nearly fell asleep at multiple points throughout it. It was one of those films that it annoyed me. It's about a kid whose mum is pregnant when she's an astronaut and goes to Mars and then she dies giving birth on Mars. It just jumps 16 years. It doesn't even give you like a little like montage of how he's grown up living on Mars. It just jumps 16 years and he's a 16 year old on Mars and he's chatting to a girl on Earth, which they never addressed how he got her details. No. How, how, why, how did he start even chatting to this bird? Like, is it like some futuristic MSN messenger or something like that? that you can, and also, how do you get that signal to Mars? It kind of didn't explain a lot of the stuff that happened. There were so many holes throughout the whole film. And there's a bit where, like, they're in, that suddenly this girl knows how to fly a plane. She's 17 years old. And they have to jump out. Now, this boy's got, like, brittle bone syndrome or something. So jump, but jumps out of a, of a moving plane. It's absolutely fine. Plane crashes into a wooden barn with nothing in it. And there's this massive, like, comedy explosion. It's so stupid. Spoiler alert. And it almost, like, promotes Grand Theft Auto. Not, not the game, but the actual felony, the crime of Grand Theft Auto. Like they, they robbed like three or four cars during the movie. Like it was nothing. Like, yeah, that's just like what 16, 17 year olds do when they just need to get around to the country, just rob other people's cars. I mean, I did know a few people that robbed cars at 16, 17. And they, they were actually uh, banned from driving for about four years. Interesting. Yeah. Chloe has had about five glasses of Prosecco. <sighs> yeah, she is chatting a lot right of sh**. I feel good right now. <laughs> You done? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So all in all, um, would not recommend going to see this film. There was one funny bit, I have to say, I think it was unintentional, but there was one bit where the girl and the boy who, like, they did their online MSN ASL date, um, and <laughs> they're driving in one of the stolen cars, and there's a bit where he's like, he, because he's lived on Mars for so long, he's not had a lot of interaction with people. He is just telling her that she's really beautiful and she's a bit uncomfortable by it. And he just goes and touches her knee. And... I am so thrilled right now. She... Mm. All right, calm down, love. <laughs> so she's thrilled at the knee being touched. Absolutely loves it. And you can kind of see, like, the wry smile happening as she's, like, sitting in the car. And he's just like... And she's like... That's me at all. And it's just like a blatant insinuation of she's about to get finger blasted while they're driving. You can't just say finger blasted. <laughs> Why? PG. Yeah, the film's PG. PG this isn't PG. Okay. Don't have to uh, finger blasted. I can say it as many times as I want. Um, if I had to give it a rating, two. Two, two out two. of. Two. Well, a ten. Two out of ten. Two out of ten. Even two out of five. It's two out of five shit. is better than two out of ten, though. Well, I don't know. When you cut it down to ratios and stuff, it's, it's still It's not. not great. It's double. So if you doubled five, you get ten. So it would be a four out of ten if it was two out of five. <laughs> it is late. It is. It's like 25 past 11. Um, so we'll end it there. Uh, <laughs> hope you enjoy what I've been up to today. Um, if you do want to uh, subscribe to the video, then press the button. Um like, comment, share it, and uh, I'll catch you again soon. See you on the Peace flip out. side.